Hey guys, happy Monday. I just did a LinkedIn live, but I, uh, I didn't really, uh, I didn't record it. <laughs> so I'm just going to record another one. That's kind of like what I just did. Uh, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching YouTube, think about what's going on in society right now. And I guess, you know, it doesn't matter where you're at. It doesn't matter if you're a solo entrepreneur or you're working for another business. This is a message that you should be teaching everybody around you. Uh, for one thing, I want to start with how money gets created, right? How does money get created in our our uh, present environment? Right now, it gets created by credit. And it's built on putting money into your pocket so that you can, you're pulling off, somebody is pulling off of you to push money into the system, right? You sign a, a mortgage statement. And that is a piece of paper that creates amount of cash. So a bank is actually pulling energy off of you to create money. So that's the way society is working right now is it's pulling off of each other. If you think about it in the business community, people are pulling, trying to create a scenario where they can start pulling energy off of each other. That's not how reality works. That's not how... That's what you how you see a black hole out in the middle of the galaxy. That is a never-ending pit that is pulling uh, energy from the rest of its environment. Uh, that mindset has to go bye-bye. That's the old beast mentality, right? Because you're you're trying to look out for yourself and you're not investing into your environment. The reality is, is if you look at how nature works in real life, you know you have a feminine that is attracting masculine that is being provided for by the masculine. So the masculine comes in and provides energy and then they produce something together, right? It doesn't, it, you're not receiving first. You're providing first by listening to your environment to see what it needs. The masculine listens to the feminine and provides to produce something. Nothing's produced until the guy learns how to listen, right? Because you have to learn how to listen or you don't even know what to provide. You know, it doesn't matter what you're providing. If it's not, if it's not being provided, then um, if nothing's of substance isn't being provided or if what the feminine needs isn't being provided, then the masculine is just like, you know, he's not doing it. There's nothing being produced. And so that's why you see Think about the earth as the feminine and listen to what the earth needs. So you need to provide what the earth needs. And so you're not only that, but you're providing to your environment. What, what, what does it need? It needs this concept, a reversal of the survival instinct or the beast nature to make sure that you understand that you're going to be provided for as long as you keep putting your energy into each other and then produce something that um, it, it, you're always providing and receiving. You have to look at yourself as source because if you look at somebody else's source and you're signing pieces of paper to get money, you're pulling off of each other, right? You're, we are technically providing you know, pieces of paper to the system to provide money, but then that system pulls energy off of us at the same time. It's pulling you in both directions. So that's why you see, you'll see inflation continue to go up and fear level rise because people are in survival instinct and trying to pull off of their, their, their environment. If you're just feeding off of your environment, you're not providing for it, then everything, it, it goes into lockdown. Fear rate goes up. And that's why the homeless community is the way it is getting as bad as it is, right? The homeless community in, in all these uh, cities on the West Coast are getting worse and worse and worse because... Um, the fear levels rising and all those people and all those homeless communities are pulling off of each other. And it's so they're meant, if you're in survival state, mental state, and your fear levels rising so much, you know, you get addicted, you start getting addicted to drugs because you're trying to get rid of that stress in the system. You're not providing for your environment anymore. You're, uh, you're totally stressed out. Right. And so that as your stress and mental health drops, as your stress goes up and then you're not, you know, the, those homeless people that are just trying to pull off of everything instead of trying to help each other, uh, fear goes up and then you isolate yourself. And then once you isolated, you're isolated, 
and the fear level gets high enough and now your your needs aren't being met now that's when the city starts to collapse that's when the, the shit really hits the fan right because it's just not you know it's not sustainable fear will always result in a collapse of structure and you have to have faith that you're going to be provided for after you're providing for somebody else so it's not just monetarily i mean it is you know our society doesn't have to have money. All you have to do is provide your energy and say, what are you going to create? Now, because our society is so built on the concept of money, um, there's too many entities out there that are trying to pull off of their environment, right? Because I have to give them this in order to get a pile of wood to build a house, right? I mean, the reality is, is every there's you have all this abundance around you. And, you know, if, you, if somebody is out there that just, a, a company that owns a bunch of timberland and they start providing for their environment instead of charging money, then all that energy has to come back to them. it's laws of nature. It's a, a total reverse of love of your mindset. And that's where the systems are collapsing, right? Now, right. We're coming into the age of Aquarius or the age of enlightenment where that system and that structure has to reverse. The old structure is, is falling down because you can't have billions and billions of people trying to pull energy off of each other. You have to think about what you can create for each other. What are you going to create? Okay. I hope this is making sense to you guys. It's a, it's a total reversal of the mindset. You have to let go of the survival instinct and start providing for the people around you. And just and trust that you'll be provided for. I mean, it, even if I have a little bit amount of money, it doesn't like it's like, oh, I don't have enough money for next month. Who cares? Next month isn't here. All you have to worry about is today. The energy that you put out there is what you're gonna get back. And the universe will respond and let go of attachments where you're trying to pull energy off of somebody else. If you're if you're trying to create a relationship where it's like, what's in it for me, you're in the wrong mindset. You need to think of a relationship. Oh, this is how I'm going to provide for these people. Right. And then the universe naturally brings energy back to you. That's how it works. And if you don't have that faith that everything's going to be working out, then you'll never work forward. So it's a process. You have to let go and understand that you will be provided for as long as you are providing for your environment. And you have to listen first. You have to like, master your listening ability you guys can do it i know you can do it i'm pumping you up right it's monday morning yeah <laughs> i love you guys and i'll come back uh i'm sure i'll have something else for you love you